KYKC, the station in Alda, Oklahoma, received a request from listeners to play Beyonce's new single. Beyonce, who doesn't usually have country music, mm -hmm. they were just like, no, we're not going to play Beyonce because she is a pop artist. Beyonce sure knows how to get the tabloids talking. Over the years, Queen Bee has come out with music in various genres, solidifying her place in the music industry. Now it might come off as shocking, but not everyone's a fan of Queen Bee's work. Yup, you heard that right. A radio station just talked about how they won't be playing any of Beyonce's music, and as expected the Beehive wasn't having it. The station came face to face with the full force of Beyonce's fans, and it looks like folks stuck a nerve because guess what? The radio show will now be playing Beyonce's new singles, and that's why you don't mess with the Beehive. Just what happened? Why didn't the radio station want to play Beyonce's music? Was it a personal choice or something more? Welcome back to Celebrity Buzz, where we will talk about the real reason behind a country music station agreeing to play Beyonce's songs. But before we give you guys the deets, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Country radio station, though, that first refused to play one of those songs had to back off because of the backlash from fans. When it comes to Beyonce, there's no arguing about her music or her talent. The Queen has over 30 Grammys and 88 nominations. Safe to say, Beyonce is the music industry at this point. A lot of folks have her music on repeat, but not everyone. A country radio station, KYKC in Oklahoma, became public enemy number one for the Beehive by refusing to play one of Queen Bee's singles on their show. After they requested why the radio station literally hit them up and said, we do not play Beyonce on KYKC as we are a country music station. News of the station's music choices started making rounds when one of Beyonce's fans recounted the incident on X. The fan posted an email reply from Southern Central Oklahoma Radio Enterprises Broadcasting after she requested them to play Beyonce's single Texas Hold M during their show. And guess what? The station straight up told her no, indirectly disrespecting the queen. The email read, We do not play Beyonce on KYKC as we are a country music station. If the radio station was looking to make an enemy out of Beyonce fans, well congrats to them because they managed to do just that. Fans didn't like that reply one bit, and as a show of support, they came after the radio station and they came after them hard. From accusing the station of blatant discrimination to dragging them for their taste in music, fans left no stone unturned. With all the backlash, reps for the music station were forced to address the public, with general manager Roger Harris writing, We are a small market station. We're not in a position to break an artist or help it that much, so it has to chart a little bit higher for us to add it. They further added, If somebody calls and requests the Rolling Stones on that station, we're going to say the same thing. Just because you're, you have a status don't mean that they're, they're just willing, everyone's going to accept you. Yeah. However, the response only added fuel to a raging fire. Some fans accused the music station of being racist. Now, racism has run rampant in the industry since the beginning and most black artists can attest to it. Taraji P. Henson, Monique Dave, all of them have their stories to tell. According to them, black artists have to struggle more simply because of the color of their skin. And the Beehive believes that's exactly what Queen Bee is going through. After decades of being in the music industry, fans think that the only reason why Beyonce's new single wasn't played on that radio show was because Beyonce's a black woman and fans weren't having it at all. Unless you live under a rock, you've probably heard about Beyonce gearing up for her new album, Renaissance, Act 2, which is slated to come out on 29th March, 2024. However, the singer did release two of her singles, Hold M Texas, and 16 Carriages, from her new album recently. And get this, Beyonce is taking on a whole new genre because both of her latest singles are country songs. The bold move paid off as the songs quickly broke the internet, becoming an instant hit with fans. Hold M Texas has garnered 9 million plays on Spotify and around more than 90,000 views on YouTube despite being only released for less than a week. Keeping that in mind, it makes sense as to why the internet went crazy when KYKC decided to not play Beyonce's music. Beyonce just released two country songs, and she's releasing a fucking country album, bitch. And it looks like the Beehive won the battle in the end. Because KYKC decided to switch things up. In a tweet on X, the radio station wrote, Lots of calls coming in for Beyonce's Texas Hold M. It's coming up in minutes, while sharing a picture of the song as well. And guess what?
they followed through on their word and the song was later played during the show. They also clarified that, We have nothing against Beyonce, and we wish her the best in her foray into country music. They also said, We didn't know that she had released a country song. Plus, being a small market station we were not delivered a copy or even a file of the song. Now, one of the reasons that the music station initially refused to play B's song was because according to them it wasn't country, but after being dragged, the station decided to rethink their words and came to the conclusion that the music is in fact country. Of course, fans broke into joy when the station finally caved in. People have wanted her to be in country music for, gosh, almost 20 years now. However, fans are still saying all sorts of things. According to them, the station only played the song to avoid further backlash and to save their image. I think y'all just don't want to play Beyonce's music because she's a black woman. And this is exactly why she is releasing this album. Everyone's teen queen be on the internet. Still a few folks have a different opinion on the matter. A fan wrote, When you're a mega pop star and you craft two country music songs, you might be viewed as an interloper. Are the songs to introduce her fans to country music or introduce country music to her? First one would be appreciated, more fans the better. The second one looks like an attempt to leverage her pop stardom in a genre she didn't pour her blood, sweat, and tears into, a perhaps vain attempt to own the country music airwaves. At the same time, some fans were not all that excited about the Queen's foray into country music. One fan commented, let's not get too excited here. It's modern pop. We're not talking about good music. We're talking about popular music. If Beyonce wanted to make a real country album, I have no doubt that she is capable. But that's not what she did. She made a country-themed pop album. And it will be huge very fast and forgotten just as quickly. And make the equivalent of small countries' GDP and profits. And that's all for today. What do you think about the entire situation? Was the station right for not playing the track? Is Beyonce going to address the situation? Let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos. We will see you guys next time with more updates from the celebrity world.